What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another tactical video. Now we've not brought out a tactic for you guys in a little bit of a while but we've been working on this and in, I have to say it is an XG monster. It's a very very attacking formation, it's a very very attacking shape so we thought we'd bring it out to you guys right here right now for you to use in your saves. This tactic idea was basically spawned out of my tactic tester series. Dortmund were a team that were regularly doing well on the tactic tester so I wanted to dive in and see what their tactical shape was. It was a 4-3-1 to. We've taken that shape, we've taken their roles, and we've tweaked it a little bit and made it even more powerful. In, the, in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the tactic uh, and how it's got on in some of our testing. We've tested it at different clubs all throughout Europe and in different tiers of England as well so that you guys can see this is the real deal. So without any further ado, let's dive in to test number one. So guys, as I said, this was spawned out of the idea of doing this with Dortmund. Dortmund were the team that gave us the idea, the shape and sort of the player roles that we started with, uh, and then we've made it even better. I have to say this tactic does work on the latest update. I've done all these tests on the latest update, the winter update that came out from Sports Interactive really recently. So you know this is a guaranteed good tactic on this new uh, tactic, on this new update, basically. And if these tactical things are things that you enjoy, please do drop a like on the video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and you're picking up stuff for the very first time. But this is Dortmund. As you can see, we've won the league. Erling Haaland, top goal scorer with 62 goals in all competitions, hence why he's on the thumbnail as the Incredible Hulk. 62 goals and 10 assists in 50 one starts he's wanted as well by manchester city and in this particular instance they'd have to pay a absolute fortune 24 assists for rafael guerrero as well which is brilliant to see um, and they've absolutely blitzed the league um beating Bayern relatively relatively comfortably uh buying there on 78 points and dortmund on 92 points but it doesn't end there guys if we go into the competitions tab Okay, a little bit of mixed form in the German Cups. They're runner-up in the Super Cup and knocked out in the quarterfinals of the DFB Pokal. But they've won the Champions League. They won on penalties. Erling Haaland scored 12 goals in that Champions League uh, run, beating Liverpool on pens. Let's have a little, little peek at this one so you can kind of see the shape. This is the shape in action. Obviously, it's the 4-3-1-2. Um, Witzel and Akanji scoring the goals and Salah and Firmino scoring the goals there. Hummels misses a penalty for Dortmund, but Salah and Bobby Firmino miss the penalties for Liverpool, making it a very, very nice double for Dortmund. As I said, though, we did test this tactic with a lot of other teams, so let's dive into that next tactical test. So, guys, the second place that we tested this was in Italy with Atalanta. Obviously, they are a team predicted to finish a little bit further down the table. Italy is quite wide open, though, so there are many options of teams that can win the division. But we've managed to do it with Atalanta, who, as I said, were predicted to finish, I believe, seventh at the start of the season. Um, they've won the league by five points, beating Lazio. And if we go into the uh, overall competition tab, yeah, OK, not down the quarterfinals of the Champions League. But they got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, which I think is pretty good for Atalanta. Uh, but winning the league, seven losses, three draws, 28 victories. Luis Muriel, the, the top goal scorer for them there. Um, a very, very positive season over in Italy. Um, there is some stiff competition here. Lazio. Milan, Inter, Juve, Napoli, Roma, all of these teams I've seen go on in other simulations and other tests and actually win the league. So to get the job done with this tactic is a tick in the box. Yes, it works in Italy. Let's move on to Spain. So guys, here we are into Spain and we are at Real Sociedad. Now, I didn't want to take one of the big boys out of uh, at the Spanish league and I thought Sociedad are a very interesting team. They usually grow and become a fantastic, ex exceptional team with their new gens. But right at the start, not necessarily one of the better teams in Spain, but they've won the Spanish League. They beat Barcelona to that title by two points. Unfortunately, knocked out in the Europa League uh, by Napoli and Leicester. Um, I assume that's on head-to-head -head against Leicester, but that meant that they went into the Europa Conference League, which they went all the way and they won that one. And they are also winners of the Copa del Rey. They beat West Ham in the final of the Europa Conference League and they are winners in the Copa del Rey against Atleti. So that is a fantastic return. A nice historic treble for Sociedad over in Spain. Let's move to England. 
Okay guys, so we've moved over to England and I was just curious, I wanted to test this with England and again, much the same as Dortmund, is a league and Champions League double. Not necessarily the best performance in the domestic trophies, we've obviously seen people test tactics and come out with quadruples with Liverpool and I completely understand that. Uh, but 99 points is where I'm sort of targeting this bad boy uh, in the Premier League. Winning the league relatively comfortably, 5 points ahead of Manchester United and then those two were clear, absolutely clear, 20 points clear plus of Manchester City in third. Uh, three losses all the way from home, Burnley, Brentford, Manchester United, three draws, Chelsea, Newcastle and Southampton, but 32 victories. Mo Salah's the best uh, goal scorer in the division, Andy Robertson the most assists as well, Alisson the most clean sheet, so you can kind of see this is doing the job, but I hear you, I see you typing in the comments, but Steve, you tested this with Liverpool. Obviously, they're going to do well and win titles. Well, I hear what you're saying. That's why we tested it with 20th predicted Brentford. Let's go into that one now. So then, guys, we have tested this with Brentford. They are predicted to finish at the start of season's 20th in the Premier League. They are, their relegation is expected. Not with this tactic. They did a little bit better. They finished in fifth, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, obviously, knocked out in the fifth round of the FA Cup by Newcastle, knocked out in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup by Spurs. Obviously, that's cup football. That's kind of what happens. But the bread and butter of the season is just victories. 66 points, sees them in fifth, gets them into the Europa League. They finish above Chelsea. They finish above Leicester, Spurs, Newcastle. Um, some of the teams that you would kind of expect in there. And um, yeah, okay, they were 11 points behind United and City into in, like into trying to finish that top four. But if we expand this Premier League table out, guys, so you can see a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, okay, 19 victories, nine draws, 10 losses, 76 goals scored. So they score more goals than United. They score more goals and City um, which is very very good but they conceded more as well so 54 goals conceded but I think that might just be a personnel thing obviously in this position if you were to take this save on you can obviously strengthen in the defenders they're obviously good going forward there were only two teams in the division that scored more goals than them uh, but just tighten things up at the back very very good return for Brentford we also tested this with Wigan down in League One so let's jump into that now Right then, guys, this is the season that we did with Wigan. Now, obviously, I understand you're going to say, oh, you didn't do very well in the Cups. Knocked out in the third round by Everton in the Emirates FA Cup. Knocked out in the second round by Lincoln. What I saw was quite a thorn in the side of this tactic, so I might have to investigate what Lincoln were playing and then knocked out in the northern section of the Papa John's Pizza Trophy by Liverpool's under-23s. But in the league, the league campaign, again, that bread and butter, 103 points for Wigan, 17 goals for Will Keane and Jamie McGrath. Um, um, doing very, very well, obviously. Uh, Wigan lifting that Skybet League One trophy and also a little bit of patchy form towards the end of the season. If we expand this out so you can kind of see Sunderland beat Ipswich in the playoff finals, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, relatively comfortable. 112 goals scored. As I said, guys, this is an XG machine, uh, this goal, you, yeah, this this tactic. You, you create so many opportunities. Yeah, there's the loss to Lincoln. Yeah, I knew there was a loss to Lincoln in there somewhere. But yeah, 112 goals scored. Um, 65 goals conceded. If we go into the data hub and you can kind of see how this tactic's doing, 2.43 goals per game that you're going to score is brilliant. Like it's it's higher than the expected number of goals. It's just it's just a fantastic tactic. So let's break this down. This is the incredible Hulk tactic, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, Hallen's head on the Hulk. I think it looks brilliant. Um, this is the tactic though. I've been running something very similar to this on stream. It was part of our testing, so we've shown it off and we know it works there. Um, so this is the tactic. I'm gonna run through it um, in every capacity uh, so that if you are playing on Xbox or something like that, you can pick it up and plug it into your tactic there. If you are on PC, there will be a download link in the description to FM Scout uh, where you can go and pick up this incredible Hulk tactic. Um, also, whilst you are in the description, this is brought to you with association with GYRFM or Gareth, my tactical guru. Um, go and show him some love. His links will be down in the description as well. His Twitter, Twitch and his Discord all down there. Please make sure you go and show him some love. So in net, we have a goalkeeper on defend, relatively straightforward, no additional instructions on the uh, goalkeeper here. We've got inverted wing backs on both sides, both on support duty. On the right hand side, 
inverted wing back on support you don't see a lot of this uh, with uh, shoot less often as an additional instruction so you guys know the additional instructions are the ones that you need to add yourself they don't come with the rolls and these are the ones with the white cogs and the red circles next to it all you need to do to add them go into the edit button and then this one has shoot less often added here so just make sure you take a note of all of these and then we can go through and you can make this tactic exactly as it is intended the inverted wing back on the left hand side is exactly the same comes with the added instruction of shoot less often now we move on to the defenders you just have two central defenders on defend nothing new nothing fancy we move on into the midfield we have a deep lying playmaker on defend again no instructions on this guy his job is to kind of just sit deep and start passing the balls out wide obviously the way this works the inverted wing backs come in and kind of make a, a three uh, which basically allows the central midfielders on attack very important very key role in this tactic to bomb on and really cause havoc so on the right hand side we have a central midfielder on attack now they come with get further forward and there's a lot of instructions added on to this guy so make sure you do the exact same it is the same for the both central attacking midfielders on both sides both the left and the right of the two um so the instructions you need to add are get uh, room from position, shoot less often, dribble more, cross more often, take more risks and more direct passes. So if you need to pause the video, guys, please do so. Make sure you get these custom instructions exactly, exactly how they need to be. Moving up the field, we have a shadow striker on attack. No additional instructions on this guy. He's already got all the right things attached to him. And then we have a deep lying forward on support duty. Um, they come with the instructions of hold up ball, uh, take more risks and move into channels. And we've added the additional instruction of run wide with the ball because there's not a lot of width with this tactic, especially with the inverted wing backs. And then up top and alongside that, we have a pressing forward on attack duty with the additional instruction of take more risks. In terms of the mentality though, guys, and the tactical style, just go on clean slate and create this yourself if you're making it. It doesn't really matter the tactical style. All of the stuff is in this instructions short sort of section we have an attacking mentality on the tactic and when you're in possession this is what you're looking to do fairly narrow attacking width as we kind of said that's that's self-explanatory really standard passing directness a higher tempo we're hitting low crosses in that final third and we're hitting them early early low crosses into the penalty area we're running at the defense as well when we are dribbling in terms of in transition, this is how we're looking. We are counter pressing and we are countering when possession has been won. And the distribution type is we are going to roll it out. Out of possession, this is how we are looking. We are a much higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line with that standard defensive width. And then uh, in terms of the trigger press, we are triggering the press much more often and preventing that short goalkeeper distribution. And we are, in terms of our tackling, get stuck in now this one i will say i've been using as i said i've been using this on stream make sure if you are picking up a couple bookings just go in take that take that instruction off sometimes you pick up some bookings sometimes you don't um so this is kind of how the tactic works guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a quick pick without restriction of the best 11 here for wigan and go on here so you can kind of see where the deficiencies are in this um they're in areas that in my opinion don't really matter you're so strong through the middle of the park you just overwhelm opposition and you just swarm them basically you've just got so many players in and around that penalty area as you can see here uh will keen top goal scorer with 22 but we've also got someone with 19 another guy with 19 a 14 and 11 an 11 here out of one of the central midfielders as well seven and six on the two center backs so you know we're potent for set pieces as well this is just an absolutely monstrous tactic so then guys that is where we are going to call it a day today let me know down in the comment section if you like this tactic if you like this shape i know people have already commented to me saying that the 4312 is overpowered try this one for yourself and let me know if you think it is overpowered and if you have enjoyed today's video guys please do drop a like on it down below subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and don't forget to go and check out gyr fm his links will be down in the description but until next time guys take care of yourselves take care of each other i'll see you on another one very very soon